So this month we're starting a new topic, which is blogging. And what better place to start than with how to write a blog post, and in particular, a blog post that's going to boost your business. Hi, I'm Colette Broomhead, and I'm a business coach. I help hopeful entrepreneurs quit their nine to five for good and create a business and life that they love. And this is Business Class Monday. So first of all, let's cover how and why a blog can boost your business. Frankly, there are so many reasons and there are so many ways that I'm not gonna go into this in great detail. Um, for more, in fact, keep watching later this month because I'll be doing a bit more on, on it later. But in brief, a blog can boost your business by increasing your SEO and helping search engines find you, increasing your credibility and helping people who don't, know, don't yet know who you are to um, see that you are a thought leader and someone who can be trusted in your niche. Uh, blogging can help to build your tribe, attract your ideal clients and make them fall in love with you. And if that's not enough, blogging can help you make money in various ways, which I will be going into later this month. So, a blog is important. Uh, it is key to your business. It is one of your secret weapons, or not so secret weapons, uh, if you do it right. And so many people aren't doing it right, so I'm here to help you. So when it comes to writing a blog post, it is so much more than just writing a blog post. Now that may sound a bit silly, but if you want to make a blog post, if it's well done, will continue to add value to your business and value, and by value, I mean not just value um, in terms of boosting engagement, boost, you know, helping you find your ideal clients, but actual monetary value. It will continue to add that to your business long after you've hit publish, if you're doing it right from the start. In today's post, I am going to take you through the key things that you need to do to write a post that is going to maximize its impact on your business long after you've hit publish. So let's begin in the planning stage. Before you've even written a word, there's work that needs to be done. So let's look at just three key things that you need to do before you write your post. Number one, you need to choose a topic. So this is where it can be really tempting to write something that excites you or something that, you, that that you want to write about. And that's all well and good, but it can be a bit self-indulgent. And if it's not actually something that your ideal clients are interested in, um, then you're off to a, a non-starter. So before you do anything, you need to come up with a topic that you know is going to grab the attention and the interest of your ideal client. So always ask, that, ask yourself that question um, before you fully decide on a, on a topic to write on. Once you've got your topic, have a think about what kind of post you're going to write. There's so many options, and we'll be talking more about this later in the month as well. But think, do you want to write a list? Do you want to do an interview? Do you want to do a review? What kind of post are you going to write? And again, is that going to interest your ideal clients? And then thirdly, another key thing that you want to do before you even write a word is to think what key word or phrase that you want your post to represent. So by that, I mean is what key word or phrase do you envisage your ideal clients typing into Google or whatever search engine in order to find your post? But let's move on to actually writing your post. What are the key things that you need to do every time you write a post before you hit that publish button. So first of all, you need to pick a headline and you need to pick a headline that people are going to click on because if you don't, no one's gonna read the post. <laughs> if you're struggling with this, then take a look at some of the headlines that other popular bloggers in your niche are using. I'm not suggesting that you copy, but it'll help you give, ide give you ideas as to the types of headline structure that work um, and that don't work. Then comes the actual post itself. You need to write a post that is going to be full of value. Because if you're not going to give your ideal readers and your ideal clients value, then there is no point in writing that post in the first place. Because the whole point of this blog post is to build your relationship, to build your credibility, 
to build your thought leadership, to build your ideal client's trust in you and to attract them to your business. So if you're just kind of hashing out any old rubbish, that's not gonna work. So you need to put the effort in. You need to give them value. So it doesn't need to be, you know, a novel, um, but it needs to give them value. It needs to be something that they're going to read and find useful or find entertaining. Um, that's something that's gonna bring them back to your website. So maybe you need to do some research you probably need to plan you probably need to plan out what you want to say but don't hit that publish button until you feel happy that what you've got is of value to your ideal clients the next thing that you need to do is to proofread so we all do make mistakes when it comes to spelling when it comes to grammar um, and that's human nature but you need to go through and check for those because if there are too many mistakes in your writing, um, that's not a good look for your business. Um, it either says that you haven't taken the care um, to check for them in the first place um, or, that you or that you don't know how to write um, and you don't want either of those things to be something that customers think about your business. So proofread and check for mistakes. You can use apps and tools like Grammarly um, you can ask someone else to proofread for you. A second pair of eyes is always helpful. But make sure that before you hit publish, that blog post has been read through and checked for mistakes. Okay, the next step. Yes, there's a next step. This doesn't stop when you hit publish. You now need to promote that post. You need to maximize the impact that it's gonna have. So just hitting publish and hoping people will come is not good enough. So you need to get on social media. Um, perhaps do a Facebook Live in your page. Uh, perhaps uh, send out a tweet. Perhaps put it on Pinterest. Go wherever your ideal clients hang out and wherever you tend to hang out the most, wherever you feel most comfortable, and promote that post. Do you have an email list? If so, send them an email. Tell them that you've just hit publish on a great new post and that they should definitely take a look. Have you seen people asking questions about your post topic in Facebook groups or in forums? Go and answer those questions, link to your posts and tell people where they can find the best response ever. And number four, yes, that's still not it. <laughs> you need to re-promote and you need to review that blog post on a regular basis because if you want to keep it adding value to your business, you need to keep it primed. So go back and check that content, make sure it's still correct, make sure it's still up to date. Is there anything more that you could add a few months on that would give even more value to your readers and then re-promote it people may not have seen it the first time around you don't need to sort of just think well I've done that post now that's it into the into the archives it goes show people again remind them of, of that post um, so set up another campaign a couple of months later to promote it on social media and always have it back of mind when you're looking at, in Facebook groups or forums at people's questions is this post something that you could provide to them as an answer to their problems and to their questions. So there you have it, the four stages of writing a fantastic blog post that is going to boost your business and continue to boost your business long after you've hit publish. I hope you found that useful. If you did, you are going to love the blog post brilliance checklist that I have created as a free gift for you. Um, it covers every single step from planning right the way through to promotion and re-promotion um, that you need to do in order to create a fantastic blog post um, that is going to um, work wonders with your business. So if you would like a copy of that checklist, um, then you can click on the link here, or you can click on the link which I will leave in the uh, des description below, or you can head over to the blog post that accompanies this video and uh, there will be a link there. So plenty of opportunities to get your copy and I urge you to do so um, but because it's a really useful list and uh, I think it's gonna rock your world. Next week, we're talking all about how to come up with content ideas. This is something that so many people struggle with. So uh, if that's you, then make sure you join me for Business Class Monday next week and I'll see you then. So in today's post, my stomach's rumbling. Sorry, if you can hear that. <laughs> uh, blogging. <laughs> blogging. I'm a business coach and I help hopeful on. Oh, yeah, my stomach rumbling. Yeah.
Ugh. I'm almost going to be quiet. Always have a nice dog smile at the start because then you can use that for your thumbnail.